Good morning, Patriots. Welcome back to Rex Pines TV. I'm Destiny Mata. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Wednesday, August 24th, 2022. Let's take a nice and relaxing brain break. Feeling frozen? Really still? Now little by little, begin to melt. Let your chin stay low as your face softens and melts. Your jaw opens slightly. Your eyes blink open just a little. Your mouth and cheeks melt and feel soft. You're melting. Let your shoulders melt and go down. Hands let go. Arms glide down to your sides, melting. Let your legs melt too, soften and bend. Melt. Try to melt all the way to the floor. Down, down, down. Let yourself be a blob, a puddle on the floor. Ah, melted all the way to soft. Exhale long. Once frozen and tight, and now melted. What a great way to cool ourselves down. Now let's see what happened today in history with Nia. Thank you, Destiny. Morning, Patriots. Today in history, the first potato chip was made. On August 24th, 1853, Chef George Crumb decided to slice potatoes as thin as possible and fried them until they were nice and crispy, then salted them. Apparently, a customer complained that the potato was too thick. So, that's why Chef Crumb made this chip. Or did he? A lot of people believe that it's a big myth. However, a 1977 cookbook claims the founder of the potato chip was the complaining customer. So what to believe? Is it a myth? Who was right? Now let's go to Jasmine for lunch. Thank you, Nia. Today's tasty lunch is chicken tenders, sip juice, fruit cocktail, and your choice of milk. Students, please keep in mind that the lunch can change at any time. And don't forget to let your teachers know if you're receiving lunch today. Bon appetit! Now let's get back to destiny. Thank you, Jasmine. Lunch sounds delicious. Scholars, testing started last week. Let's keep succeeding on these tests. Teachers, take a look at the schedule to see when it's your time to test. Today, 6th through 8th grade is testing in NWEA reading. Good luck! Patriots, please don't forget our cell phone policies. Make sure you have your phone shut down and in your backpacks at all times. Now let's see what the weather looks like today with Melanie. Thank you, Destiny. Good morning, Patriots. Today's weather is a stormy 92 degrees with scattered thunderstorms. Brace yourself, Patriots. You can expect a lot of thunder later. In other weather news, we wanted to talk about lightning safety. Recently near the White House, three people were struck by lightning. One woman survived to share her experience. The woman and couple both went to hide under a tree, which isn't the safest idea. Since the trees are tall, they attract lightning way easier. Instead, you should leave elevated areas, crouch down into a ball to make yourself smaller. If you take these precautions, you should be okay. Now let's see Chanel for today's birthdays. Thank you, Melanie. Today's birthday boys and girls are Zakaria Barreto, Jacob Aqua, Jade Flemings, Kalia Dorleans, Gabrielle Finlitter, Taylor Ramadar, and Jordan Scott. Happy birthday. Now let's go back to destiny. Thank you, Chanel. Patriots. Here are your past expectations. It represents, present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. There were no teachers that answered yesterday's daily challenge correctly. The correct answer was 45. Now for today's daily challenge. What is always in front of you, but you can't see it? 
Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your response to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a wonderful Wednesday. And remember, here at Pines, we are going to renew excellence in education. Have a great day!